Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys. I am back from PAX East. Ugh. I'm exhausted. I just landed. I literally just got home. We're not doing a face cam or anything because I want to edit this video and get it up for you guys. Um, I had a blast at PAX East. A lot of you guys saw Nick's videos, but we were checking in on the Town Hall 8. I didn't have that much time to clash the whole weekend because we were playing Vainglory. We were streaming Dreadnought. We were doing all these other different things, guys. But we are back. Our Town Hall 8 took a beating while we were gone. We won one defense that was 48% where someone attacked with goblins and got a whole bunch of loot. Again, sadly, I wasn't able to check in much and even collect um, anything. I was on my Town Hall 10 doing wars in uh, the Warriors clan, which is Nick's clan, but we're going to go ahead and look through some of these things and see what happened while I was away. You can see that this guy had a chance to get a lot of loot, guys. A whole lot of loot. And he actually does come in and take a lot. I don't care how much elixir he takes. I still don't care about how much elixir anybody takes from me because I do have enough um, at this point in time, I don't need any more to upgrade or anything like that. But the gold, ugh, that sucks. That really, really sucks that he was able to take 300,000 gold from me because that is a good raid. Anytime that I find 300,000 gold, I am super, super stoked because, again, that is a solid raid, and those are the kinds of things that you look for. So right now, he's gotten over 700,000 loot from me. Uh, he's dropping in the rest of his archers. It looks like goblins is the way to go against my base, I guess. I don't know. Uh, goblins and archers somehow got 48%. Um, but he wasn't able to get to my town hall, which is the main thing I am trying to protect. Obviously, my goal is to try and stop the, uh, the two stars. But... He wasn't able to uh, get any further than that, guys, because he actually ran out of time. But my wizard tower was taking out his archer towers right there. But if they had taken out that wizard tower, then he could have uh, he could have taken it home and gotten a two star on me, or not a two star, but uh, that uh, that fifty percent. So thankfully, he wasn't able to get a star at all. I think I just said that he was. What am I thinking? I'm I'm delirious right now because I just got off a plane and I don't even know. But. As you can see, guys, look at this. Here we go. Boom. We get new hogs. Plus 10, plus 42. Boom. There we go, guys. So stoked about that. Spending all of our Dark Elixir. We only have 3,000 left. We are still upgrading. We are still maxing out our Town Hall 8. Our minions are level 3. Our hogs are going up to level 2 now. We do have our Valkyries and our Golems to upgrade as well, but whatever. So here comes another guy with level 6 Barch uh, and uh, Giants and max level Hogs, guys. And he two stars me. You already saw that. What am I supposed to do against 12 max Hogs and, um, and level 6 Giants like that? I mean, level 6 Giants were max, what was that, like 6 months ago or something? So uh, this guy's coming in with a lot of damage, a lot of power, and there isn't really anything I can do about it. Obviously, as a Town Hall 9, he's got the, the up and up on me, but I was able to defend from that 3-star, which I'm happy about. If a Town Hall 9 with Max Hogs attacks me uh, and doesn't get a 3-star, I'm happy. I mean, he, sh he could have easily just brought a heal spell with him and kept those hogs up, but uh, I'm not too sure what he was doing. But we were able to take out his hogs pretty easily with the Wizard Tower and the Teslas right over there. Um, his giants, however, did break into the core of the base and allow the queen to get in there. I think it was the queen that took out the uh, Dark Elixir, but now level 15 queen coming in hot taking out the town hall. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through that a little bit. Uh, but she's about to go down 64% right there. He takes forever down here at the bottom, just taking out this free elixir that I have set out there. I don't know why I have that out there. I should probably bring that in because right now that's just free, uh, that's just free, free percentages for other people. So I'll probably end up bringing that in. There's my king doing a good job defending the base, just watching him. <laughs> so hilarious. But uh, we're going to go ahead and move on now from that. So two losses, guys. A two-star, though, from a Town Hall 9 that had max, uh, pretty max troops. I'm okay with it. I'm not upset about it. I'm not. Okay, I kind of am, but it's okay. So now we are going to come up, and we are going to go search, guys, and we're going to find a base right here to attack with our Giants. He's got a good amount of gold and an okay amount of Dark Elixir. Anytime I see something with about five or 600 Dark Elixir, uh, I generally attack it. But we are going to drop off from the bottom down here. As you can see, he has all three gold storages on one side, guys. Almost 200,000 gold available. Only need 100 more to upgrade a wall, so you know I'm going for it. I'm going to drop off my giants down here with my wall breakers, as well as my barbarians. Going to clear out all these buildings so that we can get our king up in there. We're going to go ahead and uh, rage up our giants as well so that they can get up in here, start breaking through these walls and these defenses. Our king heading right in where I want him to, surprisingly. Normally, he would walk around to the edge, but he just took out one of those gold mines, and as you 
you can see, here come the rest of our Giants. We're going to rage them up again as they run through the center of the base and uh, get through those walls and then take out that mortar. We're also going to lightning spell. There's, there's so much going on right now. We had a lightning spell those troops up top, but you can see the Giants were able to take out that mortar for us, which means that our archers are protected from that splash damage. They're heading up to that other mortar, and they are going to take it out, clearing the way for us to get in there to that gold and that dark elixir. Thank you so much, Giants for crushing it guys we are actually going to get a two star on this as well coming in hot right now on this town hall you can see that wizard is on our archers but they're going to take it out for us and we are pushing right now slowly it's kind of a weird push because i do want gold but i also want trophies so it's a little bit of a strange push but we are pushing right now uh which is why i have a trophy base obviously but we were able to get two stars on that guys 180,000 gold, 767,000 dark elixir, and 20 trophies. So, hey, I'm perfectly fine with that, and uh, I'm sure that many of you would be as well. But, as you can see, we're going to go ahead and train up, guys. I'm going to do a little bit of giant healer next, so I'm going to train up some giants, uh, get two healers up in there, throw in one heal spell for the giants as they work their way into the air defense so that I can drop uh, the healers off after that. You always have to be careful of that um, because the air defense is obviously take out the healer but with the new update the healers actually aren't targeted by air bombs so i'm pretty excited to jump back into giant healer and see how this works uh but besides that we're gonna go ahead and head back to the base guys and guess what we were able to do since we have 600,000 gold that is correct we're able to zoom in right here and upgrade another wall for us guys let's go ahead and see how many we have left i believe that we have 20 something i'm not sure too much 26 walls left until we are max almost 200 level 8 walls uh so yeah that's gonna be it guys as always keep calm and clash on and i'll see you on the next episode all right peace